Hi there. Now for this question, we're given this figure here, which shows the sector OAB of a circle with center O, radius of 9 centimeters, and an angle of 0.7 radians. And for the first two parts here, A and B, for A we've got to find the length of the arc AB for two marks, and in part B find the area of the sector OAB for two marks. And it's only these two parts that I'm going to do in this video. If you want to see the other parts, parts C and D, then you'll have to check it out in my next video. Okay, so if you'd like to have a go at this, just to give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now for part A then, if we've got to find the length of the arc AB, okay, so say length of arc AB, well, we should be familiar with this idea. What we've got here on this arc here is a fraction of the whole circumference of a circle center O and radius 9 centimeters. So that fraction of the circumference is the angle 0.7 radians compared with, now we're not working in degrees, if we were this would be 360 degrees in the denominator here, but because we're working in radians the equivalent of 360 degrees in radians is 2 pi radians. So it's this fraction of the circumference. And the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. So that would be 2 pi times the radius, which will be 9. And when we're working with this, we can cancel out those two 2 pi's. And you end up with the familiar formula that uh, you often see for radians, that is. The arc length is equal to the angle times the radius. Theta r, as we often say. Well, if you work this out anyway, it gives you 6.3 centimeters. So there we go, there's the length of the arc. Now, finding the area of the sector OAB follows much the same kind of structure. And we'll just put down part B then. If we're going to find the area of the sector, then what we're doing this time is a fraction of the area of a complete circle. And that fraction will be 0.7 over 2 pi. Okay. And then it'll be of the area of a complete circle. A complete circle has the formula pi r squared. So it's pi times 9 squared. And in this one, the pi's cancel. And you're left with the angle times the radius squared divided by 2. And again, this is a popular formula when you work in radians. You might know it as theta r squared over 2. If you work this out, though, on your calculator, you'll find you get 28.35. And the units here will be centimeter squares. So if you want any extra help with this, you can always check out my videos on my website on arc length and areas of sectors. Okay?